All right, here we go. This is me opening up my first pre-release pack. So for the first pre-release, of course. And uh, yeah, so they're gonna have a little bit of a shaky camera here every now and then because we were a little frantic uh, just holding the camera over each other's shoulders to try and film this as quickly as possible and then get our decks made <laughs> for the event. So I'm showing off the little pamphlet there. And yeah, I'm doing a voiceover just because it was so noisy. It was, it was crazy there, a lot of hype. So I got the Oricorio promo, which I'm super happy with because although you famously may now know, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Oricorio. I will say it was probably the best looking of the promos. And yeah, I'm saying that that's card, that card cover is for me. And here we go. We had the Vanillix line. So with Vanillix, Vanillish, Vanillite. We had another Oricorio. How Lily, Nest Ball, Sandshrew, Lilligant, Petalil, Phantom, Professor Kukui, Lily, Team Ball. And I forgot what the other thing was. I went really fast there. But so that's just to see it. You start with the deck and you get your four packs. And you see my excitement. I'm so excited for this. Oh, I can't even crack open that pack fast enough. I'm trying to keep the pack art intact there, and I think I succeeded. Yeah, I think I got one pack art to work for me. And we're doing those code cards on the side so we don't spoil anything. Uh, I almost forgot the pack trick. Four and two. So here we go. We had a Machop to start with. One of the two Machops you can get. Get some folks there. There we go. Machop. It's Fletchling. Alolan Vulpix. Very excited for that one. It was really good in the pre-release too. Got Theta. Chansey. A Metal Energy, Glalie, Weeping Bell, Ultra of the Moon, Gligar, and Oricorio. Um, so nothing out of that pack really, though the Alolan Vulpix, I got a few of those and oh I used them. They are very playable at the pre-releases and they're going to be just fantastic when you're playing them with Ninetales. So we had a Pel Petalil, Beldum, another Alolan Vulpix, see, Slowpoke, the other Machoke, Fairy Energy, Marini, Aqua Patch, which was also very, very playable, Enhanced Hammer, Sligoo was an uncommon, and our Swellow was a rare. Aqua Patch was a dream card. I didn't use it very often because its deck wasn't really, it didn't really need it, but it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I've had so much fun playing it just during this, so I can't wait to have it in an actual deck. Good, I didn't forget the pack trick this time. Start us off with a Deli Bird, a Talo, Carvana, Barbo, which I'm going so fast, Van Dump, Water Energy, Ether Paradise Conservation Area, a little Graveler, Hala, a Jengma O Reverse, and there we go. First pool of my packs was a Politoed Hollow Rare. And our last pack has an Alola Nine Tails on it. I should struggle with that one a little bit. This is the Huntress holding my camera for me. I didn't get some random person doing this. <laughs> We're helping each other out. So we had the other Machop again, the first one. Fletchling, wow, it starts exactly the same. A little Vulpix, the exact same. Gathita, Chansey, then we had a Darkness Energy. Mallow, this is where it gets different. A Lolan Graveler, Altar of the Sun, Minior, and a Vanillix. Cool, so that's my first pre-release kit. And then I started getting busy making my deck. And now we have the Huntress with her wonderful Pokemon, Pokeball nails. You've already seen those nails show up in the pack battle that we did against Curious Cleffa, which if you haven't watched that, please make sure that you do. We will have that at the end card at the back of this video. She got the Alolan Sand Slash. Very nice. So completely different deck than me. Unfortunately, we didn't face each other. In both pre-releases, we did not manage to face each other, even though we had a very similar streak. In fact, I think we both went three and two during the second pre-release. But hey, it is what it is, y'all. So... The Alolan Sand Slash and all those glary cards, but there's the Vanillix line there. Oh, I'm going to the other shoulder because I couldn't really get it to focus that way. Look at that. Isn't that a better angle? Here we go. Vanillix, Vanillix, Vanillite, all those. Oricorio, very much the same that I had before, except she got Honchcrow and Murkrow and Pancham and Pangoro in hers. And Honchcrow and Murkrow can really make or break your pre-release. It really helped me out. It helped me go 3-2 uh, during the second pre-release. I think it went 3-2 for both pre-releases, actually, because we, we do five rounds here in the Netherlands instead of uh, the three that a lot of people did in the United States. <clears throat> so now she got her code card aside. She's doing that pack trick. We're turning around. She started with the Gligar, a Vanillite, Mudbray, a Salandit, Stuffle, a bit of glare, there we go, uh, Fairy Energy, Whimsicott, Vanillish, Ether Paradise Foundation, Phantom, and a Mimikyu Hollow, which is so adorable. Look at that, a hollow straight off the bat. <clears throat> did you hear what that did to my voice? 
I'm sorry for that little, I know I have a microphone, I'm just blasting your ears, but, oh, my Mimikyu Hollows. Wow, wow, wow. And what do we have up next? Do, 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 do. We got an Alolan Geodude. And I got a focus problem, there we go. Mudbray, Alolan Sand Shrew to go with our Sand Slash, Cottony, Bellsprout, Electric Energy, Alolan Graveler, Hala, another Glalie. Patrat was a reverse, and a Salazzle. I didn't get a Salazzle during mine, I don't think. I could be lying. I haven't reviewed these videos. I don't remember everything that I pulled, so I could be wrong. I don't remember having a Salazzle. A little bit of struggle there with the packs. People were so excited. There was a guy next to me who got a full art Tapu Lele. I was so angry. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh, man. Gathita, but I'm also very happy for him. Cast form. He said, I want to get that full art Tapu Lele, and he got it. Tentacool, Clefairy, Litwick, Grass Energy, Altar of the Sun, Matang, Matangyang, Hakamo'o, Politoed Reverse, so I got the normal, and yeah, look at that. What? She got the Rainbow Rare Incineroar, guys. That was one of the two Rainbow Rares that happened in the entire pre release. There may have been another one at the second pre release, but I know at the first one there were two. Only two that showed up. Crazy that she pulled that. Insanity. So as you can see, the Hunters had a much better pre-release than I did. <laughs> oh, it was insane. We did not film her prize packs, by the way. So what I'll do is, if you go to my Twitter, so make sure that you look in the description here, go to my Twitter. It's just, it's easy to find. It's at the Hollow Hunter. Uh, I will post a photo of all of our pools and you can see what she got. Because she got some crazy stuff. She got a little, little Vulpix here, though. Chansey, Petalil, Trubbish, Mother Chop, uh, Water Energy, Beware, I love that Beware artwork, Whimsicott, Eat Through Paradise, Glalie, and then another Honchkrow, which is going to help her deck a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'll post the photos of all that. And here's my second pre-release kit. So we were already really tired at this point. We'd been going on, let's see, we started at 10, and we went on to 2.30 because we had five rounds. And bam, I got the Alolan Sand Slash as well. So the exact same pack that Aviva just pulled. Same old stuff, so I'm not really saying much here. She got, I got the Haunch Crows and the Panchams and the Murk Crows and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, my four packs. Start us off with the Rock pack. I think I had some troubles with these packs. See, I couldn't get them to... I wanted to do the whole nice pack art thing, and I noticed it was all ripping up and everything. Put that code aside. Hopefully nobody sees that. I'll redeem that soon. Hopefully. I bet you. I bet you I'll get something amazing <clears throat> online. Uh, I guess folks there. Okay, so we got a Nose Pass. Wimpod. First time I've seen that. Gumi. Whalmer, which I played in my deck. Beldum. Fairy Energy. Watchog. Rescue Stretcher also played that very good card. Sudowoodo, Snow Runt, which I needed before, and Liligant. <laughs> I needed that Snow Runt for my Glalie, and I just couldn't get it for the first pre-release. And of course, you can't use the cards that you had from the previous pre-release. That's a bit of a problem. Um, you have to just use what you got. <laughs> um, and that makes your decks a little wonky sometimes. But hey, it, it didn't really matter all that much. It still went pretty okay with my decks. But yeah, this time I went up against people who had GXs. And that I just wasn't prepared for. At had Rock Rough, Gumi, Slowpoke, Water Energy, Alomomola, Beware, Brooklet Hill, it's very nice, Reverse Matang, and another of those Lightning Oricorios. Funny with the Rock Ruff, we had a guy who pulled the Lycan Rock GX and uh, he didn't have a Rock Ruff to go with it. So it's kind of funny how later people started pulling the Rock Ruffs, but in the first pre release, people seemed to have a problem actually getting those things to work out. Oh, my card codes. Oh, my codes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to redeem those before I put this video up. So, snipers, you can get them. Mudbray. Salandit. Stuffle. Love the Stuffle. Slowpoke. Wishy Washy. Darkness Energy. Lampant, Machoke, which was awesome, Slowpoke, we have a reverse rare Drampa, that was cool, and a rare Hollow Comfy. So, <clears throat> my two good pulls came out of the same pack. Again, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, spoiler alert for this pack, I thought we were done here. So 
So fourth pack is Como O pack. Um, but if you follow me on Twitter, you already know I only got two hollows from the pre-release. And then if you've seen the video with Curious Cleffel, you know I did not get the greatest prize packs in the world either. Oh man, the Huntress, she got hooked up. The Vanilla Light here, Murkrow, I was happy to get that one because that was really playable. Slandit, Lightning Energy, a Gothic Rita, I believe, Komala, Rescue Stretcher, a Reverse or a Choreo, that's a rare, and a Swellow. So I got a few Reverse Rares, that's cool, you know, can't complain too much about that. And second pack for the Huntress. She kind of delicately not damage her fingernails that she worked on for about an hour the night before. We were awake until about 2 in the morning, I think, mainly because of the nails. We were actually going to go to bed around midnight. She got the Mudsdale, and she was super happy. That was the one she wanted the most because she knew that it was playable. She had actually gotten beaten up quite a bit during uh, the first pre-release against the Mudsdale, and she didn't pull one, so she was happy to get that promo. I was happy to get that promo, too, because as you may notice, we had three of the four. So what I did later is I saw or checked to see if anybody had the Drampa, and they did. So the difference with this one compared to the others is that this had a lot more fighting in it. So I had Gligar and Gliscor in it, and those were really heavily focused on. Um, and of course, the whole Mudsdale line. Oh, somebody just popped in, showing off their Tapu Lele and their Ninetales. Oh, oh, oh. So many good cards pulled there, guys. So many good ones. Somebody also pulled a Hyper Rare Tapu Coco while we were there. Uh, it's all a lot of full arts. Somebody pulled a full art Ninetales. I already mentioned the full art Tapu Lele. And a Secret Rare Aqua Patch was also pulled. Uh, Salandit, Stuffle, Slowpoke, Wishy Washy. I'm having some focus problems there. Sorry, guys. Field Blower, which is awesome, and in my deck now. Sableye. I told her to play the Sableye. She wasn't really convinced. But look at that. Another Mimikyu straight off the bat. First pack magic. Two Mimikyus. Every, she's going to Mimikyu every single time. It's like Mimikyu seems to gravitate more towards her than to me. Uh, I should have taken my Mimikyu. I think it would have given me more luck. I did put a Mimikyu patch, or a uh, pin, sorry. A pin on my uh, bag, but just didn't work out for me. Oh, well, oh, well. But I'm excited for you to see what she pulls in this one. It's got Tentacle, Stuffle, maybe not this pack, I'm not sure. Alolan Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Psychic Energy, Choice Band, oh yeah, we got two of those. Vanillish, Whimsicots, Energy Lotto, Reverse, and bang, it was this pack. Drampa GX! Really cool. She said it didn't really work for her at all, <laughs> which I can imagine, you know, you're trying to put in a lot of energies into something, but you only have 40 cards to work with. It means you don't have a lot of energy, and those energies need to go to the other Pokemon. And if you're going against particular types as well, a Dragon type isn't really going to do much other than get hurt by anybody who's playing a Fairy, which I don't think many people did, but the option's there. If they played Sylveon, and there was a Sylveon pulled because we traded for it, uh, Gligar, Vanillite, she got the Grass Energy there, Lampent, Clefable, Marini, Reverses Talonflame, which is rare, and a Rayquaza. She also played that one and said it just didn't really help at all. Again, that's only if you're going to be looking to get stuff out of your discard pile. The Drampa is a lot better. If you just play the normal Drampa, it allows your energies to go around, whereas the Rayquaza requires you to have already had them off the board. And the way to do that well, is to lose a bit. So, yeah, I can imagine Rayquaza just wasn't the best thing to play. All right. I told her to play Sableye, but then it would have ruined her whole um, ratio of energies. Alolan Volpix, though, is amazing. Oh, I, I'm happy that we got so many of those. We got a Chansey, we got a Petalil, Helioptile, shout out to Professor K, Metal Energy, Sligu, Beware, Alomomola, Multi Switch, Vanillix is her rare, so the Multi Switch was the reverse. So she got two GXs there and two Hollows crazy that was it for this one guys thank you so much for watching um yeah there's my comfy nice and close up yeah so that was it for the pre-release uh be sure to check out what i got in my prize packs by going to curious cleffa battle video that i did uh, a couple days ago or yesterday depends on when i decide to put this video up and uh yeah go to my twitter and you will see all the pools that we made um, uh, just a little bit of a spoiler, she did pull a Metagross GX, you will not see a photo of it because we immediately traded it for a Sylveon GX. So the Sylveon, you can just think, yeah, okay, she, she didn't pull it, but she did. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, so that's it for this one, thank you guys so much for watching, and until the next video, I will see you on the hunt, goodbye.